Hi everyone, welcome, John here, and today's video is about the basics of indexing and slicing in Python. Uh, this is something that I use really regularly and is definitely worth learning uh, as soon as you can, and hopefully this video will help you run through it. So indexing essentially means to get a specific part out of your writable object. Now this could be a list, or a text string, or number, or so on. And slicing works in the same way, but it has the ability to, to call on the range of things. Um, it will all become quite clear when I start running through the examples. One thing that I kind of found useful and helpful was it's quite similar to the Excel commands of equals left and equals right, etc. Although it's not the same sort of thing, it works in a similar kind of way. So if we take this string here that I've got, uh, my variable is my name and this is the text string. If I print that out, we get it down here as you can see. So if I wanted to index this, we need to use the square brackets like this. And if I put a number one in here, that might mean you might think that that would mean we're going to get the first character out of this string, but actually it's the second. That's because Python is a zero index language, so zero was always the first thing, so one would be the second. So if we print out the zero index here, we should get the first the first letter from the string which we do. And the same if we did the four, if we do four, we'll actually get the, the fifth one, which is the N right there. It works with a negative number as well, so minus one index is always the last one from the is the last one in, so the end of the list, or the end of the string in this case. And that works all the way up with the minus numbers as well. So the the, the fourth one in from the end here. If we wanted to slice this, we need to do exactly the same thing, but we use a colon in the middle. So what this means is is going from this from the number on the left to the number on the right. So if we leave this blank, that will go from the beginning, which is the same as having a zero. So if we do from the beginning to up and in, up to, but not including number four, that gives us the first four numbers. But you see how it works is that because it's a zero index, we've got zero, one, two, and three, which is actually four characters and not the fourth one. So if we were to do three, we would get one less. And it also works with the negatives. So we cut off the end. So we've gone from the beginning all the way up to four from the end. And that gives us that. It works the other way as well. So we could do from the fourth. So that's zero, one, two, three, and then the next one. And it gives us the last ones. So that's how we would cut open a, uh, <coughs> sorry, that's how we would slice a string. One more example is we could do from the first up until the fourth and we can see we get three characters there. So that's all very well and good, but more, more practical use that I tend to get to is lists or dictionaries. So if I get a basic name list out here that I've just saved, like that, and if we print out our name list, you sh we can see that we will get our list of names down here. If we wanted to access the first name in our list, we would do exactly the same thing, but with with our zero and that will give us the first name in the list or the first item in our list and same with one and so on and negatives also work this will get us the last in our list there we go we can also slice that we can get from one until three and that should give us the two middle names which here we've got Steve and Dave which is here one so this is zero one two up until three so you don't get the third but you get up until the third one okay so that's quite useful to know. I find that it's, this is really, um, I find that I use this mostly. I will find if I've got a list, but I actually want to only access a part of the list, you, I would use it like this. You can actually chain these together as well. So we could do get the first item from the list and then the, the first, sorry, the first character. That should give us, ah, sorry, I've got the first. So it's not the first, <laughs> it's a zero. So it's number one, which is Steve. And then the first, which is the zero, gets us the S. And then the same with the negative there, the end. So you can see how quickly and easily you can use um, indexing to get out specific information from your lists uh, and manipulate it that way. Let's go through another example. So if we have a list of lists, 
like this here we've got name list list which is a bad name for a variable but never mind that's what it's called now and you can see we've got two lists that we print out when we get this so if we do let's say zero and see what comes out first we're actually going to get the very very first list here okay so this was the, this is now the zero and then this is the one if we wanted to go further in that we could do exactly that and we could go zero again and get the first name of the first list which is there and if we go even further with zero again we'll get just the letter so you can see how uh, looking through your data you can work out where your indexes are and the best way to access your data so if we start changing some of these numbers out we'll get different things it's unlikely that I would ever need that but there we go you can see there we go we've got the first list and the second name to go even further we might have a dictionary and again this is something that I've used quite recently and often so here's our dictionary let's get that on the screen so we've got boys name boys and girls as our dictionary so if we wanted to slice out parts or sorry index part of our dictionary let's see what we get when we print it real quick so we can see boys and there's our names girls and there's our names if we do this you think we might get the first lot but actually we don't because we're in a dictionary so we need to access the key first before we can start indexing these so to access the key we call its name so if we were to print this we're just going to get this list here there we go and then the same thing applies with the indexing so we'll get the first name which is a zero and get it there okay so hopefully that's been helpful to you guys this is something again that I, as that I found quite useful to learn really early on um, being able to manipulate your data um, like this really helps um, especially the dictionary part because that's how you tend to get um, a lot of your information from APIs comes through as JSON data and you can put it into a dictionary and whatnot so being able to access certain parts like this is really useful I hope you find this is helpful cheers